you do decide to stay home for that next special dinner, a brand new cookbook could put your home chef skills to the test. In fact, it could be the world's most <laughs> difficult cookbook. It was written by a heart surgeon and an expert chef, and some of the recipes focus on the incredible dexterity and precision Ooh. you see in an operating room. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Dr. Patel and Chef Frederick, the authors, are here to tell us all about it. Good morning, you two. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. How did the two of you team up? This is the most incredible match I've seen. So we were put together by Geringa, uh, which is a company which provides medical equipment. Uh, their purpose was to celebrate our um, the, the dexterity skills of surgeons and um, come up with a fun project to work with a Michelin star chef and come up with recipes which would enable us to practice dexterity as well as have fun and make great food. That is wonderful. That sounds incredible. And yeah, let's talk about the two of you and the similarities between a precise surgery, obviously, and precise cooking. I mean, we've got our Michelin star chefs. So why do they relate so well? And what are we going to find in this cookbook? I mean, what, what, what we do every day is uh, working with our hands and cooking at especially at this level, involves so much detail and so much, um, you know, various tools, sharp knives, tweezers. Uh, so to take, to, take, to take this to the next level, we introduce scalpels and, uh, and these very fine surgical tweezers and these very tiny um, surgical needles. And then we did things like sewing a cabbage, like you see here, with, um, with a leak thread to make a little dumpling. That so again, we want to find a fun way to, to uh, see similarities between the two worlds. I, I think I know the answer to this next question, but Dr. Patel, dexterity, why is it so important during surgery? Well, dexterity uh, leads to precision, and without precision, uh, surgery is not effective. Um, as you can see in, the, in this video, it's not just about uh, stitching or cutting, it's touch and feel, knowing the right anatomy, um, preparation, and the most important attention to detail to come up with great dishes and have um, great outcomes in surgery. And, and Chef Frederick, were you in charge of coming up with the actual dishes? Did you all consult one another, you know, a medical consultation? But how did you come up with what we're going to find in this cookbook? And then would you continue on answering, do we need to buy anything special at home to, to be able to do what you have in, these, uh, cook, in this cookbook? So to do it at home, you, you need to, uh, well, ideally, you should have some of the tools that they use in the, use in the surgical room. Um, we, um, we, we discussed ingredients, discussed these uh, recipes, um, you know, some are adaptations of what I do in the restaurant. Uh, but it was really, we wanted to have a dialogue, the two of us, and find uh, the similarities about, like when we, when we spoke about how these dishes were constructed or executed. Uh, and it's very, it was very fascinating to speak to the doctor and hear his his thoughts on how we work in the restaurant. That is remarkable. You both have extensive backgrounds in your chosen professions. Chef Frederick, how did you get to where you are today? Oh, um, from, from I've lived, I'm, I'm from Sweden, but I've lived in New York uh, for a long time now. And um, just hours and hours and hours in the kitchen. Um, I love what I do and, and uh, just spending time with ingredients. I opened my restaurant uh, eight years ago now, where we are in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, and but we'll, it's really, it's really hot. Can you tell us the name? What, yeah. what, what's the name? I'd like name, to go to the, I know, we want to come. We want to come. Where is it? The restaurant is called Aska. It's in Williamsburg in Brooklyn. Oh, mm. wonderful. Um, well, we, will, we will be attending it. And Dr. Patel, are all of these heart surgeon approved recipes in this cookbook? Well, they are heart healthy, as you can see, because it's a, uh, recipes are from Sweden and Scandinavian. They're very heavy on seafood. Um, the portions, as long as you keep the portions small um, and you eat more seafood, you eat more f uh, fiber, um, uh, these are heart healthy recipes. Now, are you I mean, guys. You always start with a quality ingredient and, and then. 
you add the techniques to it. That's wonderful. Would you guys ever switch professions? Chef, you ever see yourself in the operating room? <laughs> Uh, it will take another. That would, that would take another two decades, probably. Uh, <laughs> but, but I'm happy to have the doctor come and visit me at the restaurant and, and uh, do some cooking together. Yeah, right. same here. Uh, Frederick's taken many years to get there, thousands of hours, as he said, in the kitchen. I spent thousands of hours in the operating room. Yeah. I think we enjoy what we do, but it was great to collaborate. All right. Well, we can't thank you enough. Good luck with the buck. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. That's quite a pair. That is quite a pair. I don't know if I am ready for that advanced Did cooking. Did you see the precision? I don't have any of that equipment in my house. I can't even find my potato cleaner I, I, right I'm, now. Anyways, thanks for having me here today. You have a potato cleaner? Yeah, you got to have a brush to wash your potatoes before you cook your baked potato. You don't, what? Bob, you don't wash your potatoes? I don't buy you potatoes. And my mother was like, go buy some potatoes. I'm like, what do you do with the potatoes? Come potato? to my house for dinner this weekend. Thanks for watching Great Day at 9. And we're going to be back Monday morning at 9. And come back at 3 for Great Day Connecticut. You can join Kara, You can join all three of us. Yeah, we'll see you then. Kara, Renee, and me. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. <laughs> we'll see you.